And so it's kind of like a, um, it, it is an MMO, but there are, your little plot is sectioned off. You can invite people to it. So there is no fall damage. There is no fall damage. There is no stamina. See, there's a bug. So if I hit R, equip my thing, I have to back up a little bit, and I have to put number two to select that. I aim it. And then I loot it. Common blue butterfly. And if I want to aim it this one. Loot it. That's how easy it is. And you can make the smoke bombs or you can buy the smoke bombs. <clears throat> There's another person wearing some adorable gear. And listen to this music. How pretty. So what supposedly happened, the backstory of this is this is a fantasy world. As you can see, it's not Earth. Um, ooh, Chapa. You hit R to change your weapons. Oh, and I just lost my one. So you hit, um, so I got some Chapa fur. Then I can immediately switch to my smoke bomb if I want. Hit two. <laughs> back up and wham up and it will allow you <clears throat> to have an overflow and this is a great feature too watch this you hit the space bar and you can jump up how cool is that I'm like oh my god Chappas. So there is mining. Oops. How did that happen? There is mining in this game. There is uh <clears throat> So there is uh you can chop wood, you can hunt, you can fish, you can craft, you can cook, you can mine, you can climb up walls. So if I wanted to change that And there are some trees that have, and you can see up in the upper left hand corner, I'm gaining um, experience, but I'm not, oops, you just hold down the R to change, um, to change your tool, but I'm not losing stamina. You can stay up all night and do this until your bags are full. And your bags, oops, I didn't pick this up, your bags, even if you're full, um, your bags will allow you a moment, a couple of moments for overflow. Now you cannot swim, so if I jump in the water, this is what happens. And it goes nope and pops you back up on the land. You can, oh, there's a, there's a deer. So this is some carpet moss that sells really nice. Oh, my foraging is level four. There's some more deer over here, but I want to show you. So there is, where to go? This lily. There's a bug. I'm not going to get it. So this is a lotus. You can harvest that. So this is my normal run, and if you hit the shift bar, this is your sprint. You only have to tap it, and then you can sprint, and it just keeps going until you cannot shoot over fences. It keeps going until you, um, ah, dang it. 
they, if you follow them, they'll settle after a minute or two. Or disappear. <laughs> I like that one, too. Oh, I forgot to loot. Ah. Of course I forgot to loot. <laughs> oh, somebody chased that one. See if you follow them. Nice. And if somebody else tags, like that person, they'll be able, I think, I think the way it works, I hope I didn't just steal that guy's kill, is that you also get, you each get, like, some loot. I really hope I didn't steal that guy's thing. That was not my intent. But this is a beautiful world. And the music is very enchanting. And these, um, this is, whoops, I thought it was... Sorry, I thought that was the low water, but apparently it wasn't. So there's all sorts of foraging. I'm not going to try and scare that deer. It looks like there might be future things to do, like this might be future update. But I love that you can scale these walls. How cool is this? Oh no! <laughs> apparently that's that little bar is your stamina for climbing anyway and you can only do so much you can't climb infinitely that mountain i think the lore is that there's two races here there's the humans and then there's the um oh i don't know what they're called i'm calling them elves they look like elves to me Ooh, another deer um and it looks to me oh sorry dude it looks to me, I'll see. This will test it. Yep, see, he got some loot. You hit T. Whoops. <laughs> you hit T and you can do your character emotes. So we're both out hunting. <laughs> so he got loot and I got loot. Um, there's a bridge up there that I want. So you could go through shallow water. So that, that green bar on the left of me will tell you how much how much further you can climb, basically. So this is another person who's up here mining. There are no mobs that will attack you. There are no mobs that will attack you as of at this moment. <laughs> and again, no fall damage. Or anything like that. I am going to go to another area. If I can find out. Let me look. This is the map that you start out with. So you start out here at Phoenix Falls. That's where you're born. But anyway, what I was saying um, about the, the lore is that humans disappeared thousands of years ago. Nobody knows why. It looks like that mountain that had a hole in it. It looks like an asteroid hit. And the humans disappeared um, we're not sure why we're not sure how um, but the paleons um, continued on and then on one day the humans just started reappearing again from a magical purple void and it was like oh well hello there so we're being settled into the community now and having to relearn everything and this map, I really love this, will show you where everybody is. Like, I haven't met this person, but it shows me it shows me <laughs> who this person is. Um, it'll tell me, like, this is the beach, this is the mayor's estate, this is the lagoon, this is the fishing guy. I can, this is my fast travel if I want to go back home. I need to actually talk to Hadari. Um, so this is where my character is, this little mark. And this is where I'm going right here to to Bahari Bay. This is to my house, to everybody's house. This is where that windmill is, where uh, Chapa Crossing. Um, so it's really still like Ashura is the innkeeper. So this is the inn. This is the tailor. Zeki is the general store manager. 
So I mean, this is just really big and really pretty. So we're going to go on because I want to go to the next area. And you can see up in the upper left-hand corner uh, or the middle of the map, it'll show me those people with that question mark where I need to talk to them. So it'll show me where the direction is. But we're going to go to Bahari Bay, which is another huge area. There's a loading screen. Look how pretty this is. And you do get a hang glider. I have not completed that quest yet. Um, so this is Bahari Bay. And look how different. Look how different this is. This is like mountainous. So this is where I am. This is <laughs> there's Hodari. Um, and then look at all this. Oh my god, look at this map. How huge is this? This is where I'm going. I want to go into here. I mean, this is, and you see the little speech bubble icon. So F to chat. I have not given up on mining yet. He's got some new recipes that might interest me. A standard pick for 250. I'll take it. And an iron bar for a hundred, I'll take it. So what this does is this lets me go back to my crafting table and craft it. Now I'm gonna I can sell to him. So if I oh I can't sell here. Never mind. I lied. <laughs> but some of the people you can sell to and it'll tell you like these Sarnak antlers. I have two. I'll get, um, they're 43 each, so I'll get 86 gold. That's 20 gold. That's 18 gold. Four hides. I'll get 52 gold. Oh, excuse me. Apparently you can only talk so long. You can have a first and a last name. Oh, Jappa. Oh, I just scared him off. They are burrowers, so they will run and run and dig a hole. I mean, look at this. How gorgeous is this? Yeah, I know there's a bug behind me, but I'm not. Oh, hello. And I just scared him. I've only got 14 arrows left, so I'm not going to waste it. However, if there's a Cernic around, Oh, I wonder if I can scale this wall. Probably not all the way up. Oh, apparently not. <laughs> that was not. <laughs> I bet you I can scale this, though. Yep. Oh, what's this? Is this a mine thing? Oh, it is. Oh, I need to upgrade my tool. So this is an. This is probably an iron ore. <laughs> And I don't have an upgraded pickaxe yet, so I can't get it. Ooh, what's up here? I have not been to this. I've been to this for a minute, but not this far down. So let's explore it together. Oh, okay, that was just some stone and some flint. I got some meat and some hide. This is so pretty. <clears throat> so apparently they nerfed. You were you could make a lot of money originally with uh, hunting the deer. And apparently they nerfed it a little bit, which is fine. Um, so now you can, uh, for the moment, go down and collect shells and coral. Let me check my inventory. Can I not check? Is there a glitch? Well, I'm going to collect some shells and see if I can collect some coral. And watch my bags be full. 
Look at that log up there. That is so pretty. I keep trying to sprint further, causing myself to slow down. So it looks like there are some shallow water and some deep water. Let's see. So you can get oysters here. Let's see, where am I? Okay, there's a there's a bug. I'm probably gonna get kicked out. How much you want to bat? Oh a crab. Can I shoot the crab? Oh, I can piss him off. Alright, so I can't open my map, so I might get kicked out. Just look how pretty this is. Alright, I'm going to reload since I can't do my inventory or anything else like that. So hang on. Oh, I can't even do that. Oh my goodness. I guess I just have to... Well, we'll just explore. <laughs> <gasps> until we get kicked out. Now that's deep water. You can see the chat box in my lower left hand corner. Look how deep this is. We might get um, boats at some point. That would be cool. Yep, because apparently they had boats before. <gasps> Treasure chest. Oh dear. Okay, so go slow. Yay, I got 130 gold. Wait, 130 gold, an unopened oyster, and there was something else I didn't see. So there are treasure chests that you can get apparently. Look at that. Oh my goodness. There's where I think the asteroid hit, that mountaintop. Look how pretty this, oh, oh, is this a, okay, that's just some flowers up in the air. That's a bug. Oh dear, okay. That was painful. Look at this, how pretty. Let's go up here. It's interesting that I can't log off. I can't check my inventory, but I can loot. I don't know where we're going. We're just exploring. Oh. Oh, the tree is kind of cutting through there. Is this a village? Oh, what's this? Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, and it just ends. Okay. So there's no getting up to the other floor. So this is a ruin. And these trees with the purple with this mean that you need help cutting it. So you need another person or a really um <laughs> or a really um improved tool in order to cut it. Look how beautiful. All right, so let's see. Boom. No fall damage. Yes. No fall damage whatsoever. This is pretty. No harvestables, though. Somebody might have, might have already been through here. Because supposedly you can get shells and oysters and coral, but I have a feeling it's glitched because I can't do anything. Oh, 
Oh, and here comes the music again. Look how nice this is. So I can maybe crawl up. Yeah, I can crawl up this. Can I crawl up this? Yep. Normally this, you can't crawl up. So when you see stone ruins like this, that looks like the marble, you can't crawl up. The gray stones, you can crawl up. A snail. Oh, bellow. Look at it. <laughs> run, snail, run. Can I catch you? Oh, apparently not. He just buried himself. <laughs> okay, that was interesting. I did not know snails could do that. So it's really nice to be able to explore the world and not have to worry that you're going to get attacked by anything. So there is no combat in this game. There's just um, hunting. And there's apparently no shells or coral in this area. Apparently somebody has cleaned them out. Okay, so where am I? I can't open my map still. Oh my goodness. Okay. <gasps> Ooh, watch this. Wee! How cool is that? If I had my glider, <gasps> if I had my glider, I could take off. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> so that's a mechanic in the game. If you want to get somewhere and it's high up and you have your glider, and your glider won't be an item in your inventory. When you get the quest for your glider, like I have right now, it says like a bird where I need three sapwood planks, two fabric, and five leather, which I could probably get. Let me see if I, I can't go home. Okay, I keep forgetting. I can't open my map right now. Um, but you go to this area um, up near the beginning, near the entrance, and you talk to a young girl. She gives you the glider. It is not an item in your inventory. It is strictly... A, um, you double jump and oh, bug catching level two. Woo! Um, Tales of Legend. I earned 250. Cool. Um, <laughs> it is, it is just something that happens because I know a lot of people are like, oh my god, it's bugged. I can't. <gasps> oh, what's this? Is this garlic? Wild garlic. Damn it. <laughs> now watch, this is a... See, my smoke bomb didn't have any effect on him. I think I need an, I think I need an improved smoke bomb for this guy. Because he... Oh, he's gone. My smoke bombs have no effect. But I can't pick them up again. <laughs> oh. Lost that one. Ooh. Oh my god. I thought there was one. Look at that. There's like four. Oh. What the actual hell was that? <laughs> um. Did my loot just vanish, or did the critter just vanish? <gasps> oh. It just evades your smoke bomb. So it looks like there will be these. Oh. Oh my god. This is new. 
So you'll have these around. I did not know. So this will cost gold. This wasn't implemented earlier. So I can go home for 10 gold. Ha! Huh, how cool is that? So that is your fast travel now. You can also open your map and hit go home every four minutes. How cool is that? All right, so let's clear out. So next uh, one minute I've got. Uh, you can right click an item and it will put everything in there. Oh, and I got a pirate treasure chest. It's an empty chest, empty chest from your travels. Oh, now I can open my inventory. Um, so you right click an item like the oyster, you click open. So I'm getting, oh, I got star quality oyster meat. And then on these items, if I want to, um, you see my focus has gone down. So if I want to eat an item, you right click it, click eat, or you can right click it and throw it away. So I've got some wheat. Let me pull out my watering can and water my crops. So this is interesting too. So these are your crops. If I hit G to examine, if you plant certain crops next to each other, you get a boost. Like I get a harvest boost, water retention, and a quality boost. I put uh, rice and wheat next to each other as well as cotton. And so I can hit F on the cotton and harvest it. Growth potential. I harvested 30. I did. Okay. But I'm going to. So that doesn't need water, but this one does. And you see the little meter. So I can harvest that. Harvest that. Guardian is level 2. Woo! So for this, if I hit G. So planting carrots and onions next to each other will give you a weed prevention and a water retention. That's interesting. That one doesn't need it, but this one does. So this one has a weed because it wasn't planted next to anything. It needs some water. And I've got a tomato here. Oops. Apparently nothing else needs watering. So let's examine again. So I've got the tomato next to uh, cotton on the left and carrots and onions on the right. And that helps me do a weed prevention and the water retention. And then if I go over here and examine, I've got potatoes and looks like wheat. So I get water retention and a harvest boost. So don't plant everything by itself. You can get more boosts planting together. And I've got more mail. Ah, yay! Ani, I heard you've been trying out bug catching. That's awesome. Why don't you stop by? <gasps> a sneaky smoke bomb recipe. Nice. You've done it again. Word of your foraging ability is already bouncing around the tavern. Stop by and I'll teach you how to make heartwood planks with that sawmill. Ashura, he's the innkeeper. So let me see how my planks are doing and my bricks. So I've got 16 stone bricks. Now I need a um, hundred to I need a hundred stone bricks in order to, oops, right click, right click, right click, oyster meat, put that in storage, that, that, rice, actually let me take that, I'm going to put that in the thingy. But yeah, I need a um, hundred to set my house up. I can't. 
Oh, I can't. Okay. <laughs> so the next shipment's in 26 minutes. So now I have 1,085 gold because I put all that stuff in there and it was a minute till it sent it. So let's go back. You're sure to uncover some secret areas. So when I was in Badari Bay um, the day before yesterday, I was climbing up a cliff and I found a rare herb hanging off the clip, cliff. And it's 7.30 p.m. So this is so pretty. Look at this. I mean, what an awesome game. <gasps> charms! I know charms. Whoops, T. Charms is another content creator. If you don't know her, go follow her. She's amazing. And she's also can be found in Jersey streams, Jersey gaming, all sorts of other streamers. Um, is there anything in here? No. So this is what I mean when it's, and you can go to other people's servers. If you have friends, you can be, you can have them invite to your server. It is really cool. Now, a lot of times these people won't be in their shops. The shops do close, but you can go to, um, Aw, forge you in a way that cares for the land you live on isn't easy. Maybe I've got a recipe that can make it easier on you. Um, heartwood plank, 500. Oh, I just got a thousand. Okay. Sure. Thanks. And you can click up here and chat with them. If you're looking to have a little fun, there's a lot of ways to enjoy yourself. I go fishing. Ani goes exploring. Badru can sit and listen to music in the inn for hours. We have every sort of revelry here, no matter what your personal taste. And I just got relationship bonus with him. You can also gift. Let's, I don't think I have anything in my thing to gift him, but let's see. Um, if I give him an oyster meat. My pockets are a little too full, but thanks for thinking of me. So he didn't really like that. <laughs> Maybe Rathwood. And this is the mayor. He's a little overbearing. Um, this is Zeki. He's the store manager. This is the priest of the local, he might want a potato. He's a nice guy. Bright shrooms. They make a tea that is very helpful for meditation. Sometimes they'll tell you what they want. Like there's a little glitch right up in here. Um, so if I see any bright shrooms, <clears throat> actually, that's a mountain wall. Okay. That's, oops, sorry. It's hot. I was moving my hair out of the way. And then this is the blacksmith over here. Um, does she have anything? You see a sure He's right over there. Tell him that I'm waiting for my glass. I'm waiting to be served. My glass has been empty for over half a second. Oh, okay. Um, I haven't seen any monsters, but sure. So if you go to their stores there, like across the way is Zeki's store, the general store. Even though they're closed, and you can see because it's got that bag out in front of it, you can still shop. And it looks like, so he's got that little cat, like in, in Japan, they'll have that little white cat with the bouncing paw. So you can still buy stuff, like seeds, or you can still sell stuff if you're, um, not moral, spice sprouts, buy poop for fertilizer, butter, eggs, cooking oil, um, chop of fur, sernak hide, all sorts of things. Um, this is where you buy your bag. I bought the first one for 500. The next one is 5,000 gold. If I could have done that um, shell collecting, I might have more money. Where is everybody that I need to talk to? Um, over, ah, they're all over here. This is the farm. Um, I think it's this way. Where's my icon? 
no, it's this way. <laughs> I'm only mildly directionally challenged. So you have to take the bridges because you can't, again, cross the deep water. And I'm starting to see more purple trees. So it's that, it's this. I'm not even worried about the, ooh, what's that? That's a sparkly. Ooh, can I catch it? No, I couldn't catch it. My smoke bomb didn't work. Oh, okay. That's fine. Maybe the next smoke bomb will. So yes, I have to talk to the farmer and the bug catcher guy. And they're both over here. These are the equivalent of cows. Look how beautiful. Oh, wait, where'd he go? Is he in here? I need a key. Oh, I need to chat with them, so I just hit G. Good to see you. He thinks he's a comedian. Now, bear with me. I know I put the paper around here somewhere. <clears throat> You've gained access to the Guardian Skills Store. What does this mean for you? Well, uh, this is a little dry. Basically, you give me gold, I give you stuff. The more you guard, the more you get. <laughs> oh, I can buy soil. I can buy a seed collector. <gasps> Ooh, sure, I'll buy that. Sure. Um, I'll spend all my money and buy that. Um, a standard watering can, standard hoe, quality up fertilizer, fine hoe, fine watering can. Yes, I know I have insufficient funds. Ooh, a preserves jar, blueberry bush, apple tree. Oh my goodness, a black <laughs> tomato vines wallpaper. Ooh, a well and a cornucopia. That's decorating. And a grow house? Oh my goodness. So it's like a little mini greenhouse. Oh, that's so cute. Gardening level 20. Yeah, not there. I think I'm at two. Potatoes are the worst crop to harvest. They're so low to the ground, they really throw out my back. Watch me give Tim some potatoes. He's too overwhelmed with happiness to think of anything. Aww. So he liked my potatoes. Now where is Ani? Ani is back here somewhere. So sometimes they'll tell you what they want. Here he is. <gasps> yes! The Bug Scouts has all those cool badges to earn, right? I'm trying to earn my and my inter, my stuff selling badges. Entrepreneurial, I think. What you selling? The Bug Scouts are giving me lots of great stuff to sell. Oh, okay, a sneaky bomb. Okay, I will buy it. And of course, smoke candle, fine belt. Ooh, a honey lure. Lures more insects for a short period of time. A buzzy jar allows you to track insects. Supreme smoke bomb you'll never miss. Perfect catch rate. Sticky smoke bomb slows down all insects in a given area. Oh my goodness. Perfect catch. Smoke candle. It's a soothing smoke. Prevents you from alerting the bugs. Okay, okay. Butterfly lights wallpaper. Oh. A bug catcher's lure. Bugs don't bug you. <laughs> you can even set this out to tell them you want to be friends. What? And yes, fish and bugs. You can, just like in Dinkum, you can put into an aquarium and into a little insectorium and use them as decorating around your house. I got my curfew extended on the, on the account that I on account of the fact I got all my chores done early. Don't verify that with my mom, though. She likes to play this game where she acts like I'm lying. <laughs> yeah, of course, because you are lying. <laughs> and this is what the crops look like. This is so pretty. So yeah, this is the cute and cozy game of Balia. Now, Right now they're in closed beta. 
me and a bunch of other people uh, got invites. If you want to get an invite or attempt to get an invite, go to the paleo.com and um, sign up. You can ask to get opted into the closed beta. There is no guarantee. However, next Thursday, the 10th, the open beta will happen and then you won't need an invite. Everybody will be allowed in. So, um, oh, he already left. So keep that in mind. Don't stress if you don't get an invite because next Next Thursday, everybody's in, if you want in. I mean, look at this. Look at this area, how beautiful it is. Oops, and I can't jump over, but I can go around. So this is the evening. It's just so pretty. And that's where we're going to leave it for now, folks. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out. And I look forward to seeing all of you in Palea very soon. Bye now.